Hi, I'm Karis and I'm in the client services team at Daisy Designer Homes. Today we're going to talk about why your home might still be expensive after you've taken some items out, which you would have thought would have made the home more affordable. Um, but often that's a pretty big misconception about taking some items out of the home. Um, so let's rewind and talk about how we got there in the first place. I think the biggest trap for people going into building a new home um, starts with going and visiting display homes and looking at the plethora of images that there are on the web these days, um, giving you design inspiration for your new home. We get really excited about different things we can do that will look amazing in our house, um, but we sort of start to lose track of our budget. So one of the first things we do is start putting in really high-end luxury items into our home, so decking out our kitchen with uh, cafe machines and things like that which look great and they're awesome um, but yeah they do start adding up expenses onto your home. The other thing we sort of do and we don't think that it's probably gonna add as much cost as it actually does is wide hallways and big rooms that aren't really habitable they sort of just are there to look amazing um, but probably won't get used that much um, and display homes are great for putting in those rooms into homes that don't really serve much of a purpose and you probably won't actually get much use out of them but they look great. If you design a home with these sorts of rooms and that sort of space and all these sort of luxury items um, and then get your first budget um, evaluation back for building that home and it's way over we start to think about things that we could take out to bring it down back within our budget range um, and by taking out those items like the cafe machines and um, you know melee products and, and things like that they will take out a certain amount from the overall cost but it's not huge relative to to the overall cost what you really want to do is start cutting down on the sizes of rooms it will bring up your cost per square meter obviously because you're reducing the size of the house but overall the amount you're going to spend is going to be a lot cheaper um, so that's a great place to start just thinking about how much space there actually is in that room and how much will you actually need and be using um, and a great way to figure that out if you're not really savvy on on measurements and, and lengths is to actually go out to the block of land um, and map out with a tape measure how many meters that is and you can just paint a line around how big that room will be and stand in it and get a better idea for how big that actually is because on a plan sometimes it doesn't look like it's much um, but you know nine meters between the end of an island bench and the lounge room is actually quite a lot um, so that's a really good place to start when you have to start cutting things down to fit within the budget. The other thing that adds a lot of cost onto a new home is bathrooms. Um, you know, they need all the plumbing hooked up and things like that. A really clever way to minimise the cost would be to back the plumbing from your kitchen onto the back of your plumbing for your bathroom so it's all in the same wall. Um, so think about how many bathrooms you actually need. Um, and maybe try and cut down on that if you can. Think about where your house is positioned on your block. Yes, sometimes we want to be way off the road because it's noisy and things like that, but shorter driveways will save you a lot of money. Um, if you think about how far you have to build a driveway to your home, it can add a lot of cost onto it. The other thing that we don't really think about is external corners on our house. It looks great having bay windows and those sorts of things and little cutouts and jut, jut outs and things like that around the house. Um, just makes it a bit different but if you're trying to save money and work within a budget um, you're probably better off just sticking to as much of a box design as you can I know it doesn't sound nice but it will save you a lot of money those external corners will add on quite a lot of cost to the overall build